So last night I made a video playing Fortnite and 90% of the viewers were new to the channel and they were asking me questions about what the technologies were. So in this video, I'm gonna break down some of the new features in Unreal Engine 5.1 that is inside Fortnite right now, starting with Nanite trees. Now, Nanite was introduced in Unreal Engine 5. What Nanite really lets you do is just import high quality mesh inside Unreal Engine. With that being said, you don't have to worry about optimizing your mesh. You can really just drag and drop a high quality mesh that you either sculpt or photo scan into Unreal Engine. So, to demonstrate this, I downloaded some high quality mega scan trees, and these trees are just amazing. And the best thing about them is they're all free. If you're using Unreal Engine, you can use these trees. So what I have highlighted here right now is 2.3 million triangles. That is a lot. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag and drop that to where we're seeing right here so you can kind of see it. So we just dragged and drop a 2.3 million triangle mesh in here and it looks amazing. So I'll just press play here. This is a little small demo that I've been kind of working on showing off on the channel here. All right, so let's go ahead and check this tree right here. This is almost like 2.5 million triangles it's really really high quality and i know what you're saying it doesn't look like fortnite trees well that's because they're not really going for photorealism with those trees they're going for stylized i think i read somewhere that those trees have like 300,000 triangles which is still a lot in a video game that's still a lot of quality if you ask me but here it is 2.4 million triangle tree and it looks amazing and another cool thing about nanite is that it handles its own level of detail now what i mean by that is usually whenever you create a game you have to create different versions of your mesh take this tree for example Without Nanite, I would have to create an LOD0, which is the highest quality, LOD1, which is a little bit less quality, so on and so forth. So, so that means that the further we are from the camera, the less quality the trees are going to get. But with Nanite, again, I'll turn this on. I'll go to Nanite Visualization Triangles. These are all Nanite, by the way. All the buildings are Nanite. All the cars are Nanite. Now, if I go back, you still see some level of detail happening in there, some changing, but the quality of the tree is still pretty high quality. Look at this. I can go all the way back. Everything else is doing an LOD change. But if I look now and I go to lit mode, the buildings still look amazing. That tree is still standing there pretty high quality. And I didn't have to do any LOD creation whatsoever. It was all done automatically whenever I enabled Nanite. And again, the crazy thing about this is if I go back here, I can actually go to the foliage here and I have the same tree in here and I can actually paint a bunch of these like so. I mean, I can fill this whole thing up with those trees. And if I go to lit, nanite visualizations and go to triangles, look how dense those freaking trees are. That is, that is impressive. That is oh it's crazy how good that technology is all right so the next feature we're going to be talking about is lumen lumen is the new global illumination system in unreal engine 5. now usually in a video game they use big lighting pretty much you're painting the light on the objects with lumen light is now dynamic meaning i can change the light and everything in my scene will change with it. There's no more baking lights or anything like that. It is all fully dynamic, which is freaking insane. So let me go ahead and demonstrate that for you. I'm going to grab this directional light in here, which is acting as the sun. You're going to see that I'm actually moving that sun around and... Pretty much all the objects in my scene is reacting to that change. For example, whenever you're playing Fortnite and you enter a house or something like that, and you have Lumen turn on, you're going to see all the light bounces. And there's actually colors on the wall. And it looks a lot natural than having baked lighting in there. Additionally, Lumen actually handles reflections as well in Unreal Engine 5. So what that means is that if you have a hardware, I think it's DirectX 12 enabled hardware, you can enable some pretty cool settings in Fortnite right now. And one of them is actually my favorite it's high quality translucency reflections so to demonstrate that i'm going to show you this uh, parking lot right here and, and as you can see here the windows really don't look that good because we don't have it turned on but if i now switch this to cinematic and i'm going to play this and i hope that it doesn't kill my computer you're going to see that we are now getting some pretty nice reflections let's see if i can find a better example right here Look at those reflections on the glass in the mirror. So in Fortnite, when you're looking at that water and you have the setting turned on, you're automatically going to see that difference. And since this is connected to Lumen, again, if I was to move this 
directional light, it is now going to reflect with that also. And that is super, super freaking powerful there. Look at that. Look at those reflections. Okay. And if I turn this off again, go to like Epic, you're going to see right away they, they don't get that high quality. Right here, turn this on to cinematic. You actually see the buildings there. And that is a crazy addition. Actually, it became one of my favorite additions in Unreal Engine 5, which is crazy reflections. So the next thing we're going to be talking about is virtual shadow maps or VSM. Now, in layman's terms, virtual shadow maps is really just high quality shadows. And as you can see that right here, now this is just a small environment that I put together using Quixel Mega Scan assets for my VR demo. But you can see that those shadows are really starting to look like real life. And that's what really that shadow maps is doing. They just look amazing. And again, thanks to Lumen, it is all dynamic. Those shadows are not baked in. Again, if I move my directional light right here, control L again, you can see that those shadows are going to move with wherever I need to. Obviously, it's going to get messed up because there's only one side of this mesh. But look at, just look at these shadows here. If this don't look like real life to you, I, I don't know what is. So, but they, they just look so freaking amazing. And I can actually change the source angle there to, to kind of get it softer. If I change it to zero, they're going to be a little bit more sharper. But in real life, if you go outside, you actually see that most of the shadows, even though the sun is really bright, most of the shadows are actually really soft. So if I press one into this, you're going to see that those shadows are going to get softer. And again, virtual shadow maps, oh, combined with everything else, is so amazing. All right, so what I'll do is I'll kind of play around in here so you can see it. Kind of up close and personal. But look at, just look at these shadows. They, they just look so so freaking good it's not even funny compared to the old shadow maps these shadow virtual shadow maps just look so much more better so let me go ahead and kind of just fly around here so you can see it a little bit better god they look so natural see how soft they are amazing addition to unreal engine 5 to be honest there i mean honestly and i've said this a million times in a channel you're starting to see why over 50, more than 50% of video games are being developed with Unreal Engine 5 right now. Witcher, Silent Hill, Tomb Raider, Gears of War. Just so many games are switching over. Companies are ditching their own engines to go work in here. And to be honest, I really think Hideo Kojima is also, whatever he's working on, probably using Unreal Engine 5 as well. It's just, it, it looks so incredible. Obviously, the, uh, the collision's not set up. It was for VR, so... My, her foot's probably gonna go through the walls, but I just wanted to show this virtual shadow maps in this environment because it really showcases how amazing, how amazing it looks. So the next feature we're gonna be talking about is TSR, which is the new anti-aliasing in Unreal Engine 5, and I think it was improved in 5.1 as well. Now, yesterday in my video, somebody asked me as to, hey, my game is really not changing whenever I switch to native, and whenever I go to TSR quality, and that's really the whole point of it. I want you to think of TSR as upscaling your footage, but you are getting the same performance. For example, if you have a 1080p footage, Unreal Engine is actually upscaling that to 4K, but the performance is still 1080p. So whenever you're seeing your footage in TSR and native and you don't see the difference, that just pretty much shows you how amazing TSR is and that new anti-aliasing is in Unreal Engine 5. Now, what I am curious about is I want to compare TSR with NVIDIA DLSS 3 because DLSS 3 is really doing the same exact thing. So yeah, with that being said, I'm going to have to wait until DLSS 3 comes out and then I'm going to be doing all kinds of testing because I am running this on RTX 490, so I do have a DLSS 3 enabled card. So that's pretty much it. Those are some of the features that they added in Unreal Engine 5.1 and made it to Fortnite and that's why Fortnite looks 
incredible right now. It looks amazing. Even for somebody who enjoys photorealism, I really like the style of Fortnite. And it's really cool because if you think about it, whenever you're spending money in Fortnite buying skins, that money is not going to waste because that money is being spent wisely on really evolving this technology coming up with Nanite Lumens. So don't feel so bad when you have to spend $1,000 buying skins. Obviously, ask your mom before you do. But just say, hey, mom, this is for science. I am paying and buying this skin so that Epic can improve Unreal Engine and everybody is going to benefit from it. So that's how I would really sell that. Now, just a disclaimer, I am not a game developer. I use Unreal Engine for making short films and I am using some of these technologies in my movies as well. Or if you want to learn more about Unreal Engine, make sure to subscribe to the channel and check out all of the Unreal videos I have. I've been testing Unreal Engine 5 since it was actually released in beta. So I do have a couple of examples on what this engine can do the future of gaming is here it's not coming it's already here so that's pretty exciting again all those games coming out in unreal engine 5 i really can't wait but with that being said that is all i got for y'all today if y'all have any questions let me know and i'll see y'all later peace out